Hey, this is Mehdi with Full Stack Library, and in this video, we'll discover the difference between align items and align content. Then we'll learn how to distribute spaces through the cross axis by using align content. So, so before we get into align content, there is something that you need to understand. We have here align items, and we are using flex and as you see the element of packet at the end of the cross axis. Once I will go here into index.html and I will add some other four elements. So in this case, you will see a blank space or free space here. Okay, what is that exactly? The interesting thing that you need to understand when you are using align items that will have multiple groups, not only one. What I mean by that, as you see here, I have the first group and the second group when I create multiple items, when each group has its own cross X. And as you see here, this is the start and the end of the second group, and this is the start and the end of the first group. And once I use flex end, it will just pack the element at the end of the cross axis of this group right here. Same thing for the second one. And if I use flex star as an example, you'll see that the elements are packed at the top or at the star axis, cross star, and same here, cross stuff. If I create multiple groups, or if I create, for example, another element of another item, you will have multiple groups, it depends. And this is how align items work exactly. Okay, let's just center the element to see that. The elements are at the center at each group. Let's just add some other items to see that. So you'll see now I'll have multiple groups or three groups in this case, with three cross axes and they are centered for that. So I can show you that because I only have two groups drawn. I don't have to redraw the same thing, but you get the idea. Let's just remove all of that and I'll show you, go to main.css. And as you see here, this is the first group and this is the second group. We don't have any other flex parent right here. We only have one parent, but this is how the align items, how manage the space or the alignment is just create groups instead of a single alignment. Okay, now let's just move to align content property and I'll comment that out. And what align content do exactly? It distributes the space on the cross axis. Okay, I'll just create a one cross axis. I'll go for a cross axis. This is cross axis. Okay, this is the cross axis. And we'll have a start and we'll have an end. And what align content do exactly is just manage the spaces. Okay, let's just do that. If I go and I do center, what center do exactly is once we use align content center, you see that we have here the cross axis and all of the elements, eight of them, they are centered and the distributed space will be the same. So for example, if we have here 400 as an example, just an example, 400 pixel will have the same, will have the same, will have the same height right here. And it's what it uses as a cross axis. It just take the free space. If I just remove that and we'll use flex start, you see that you will pack the items at the top or at the start of the cross axis. Okay, let's just remove that. Flex start, pack the items at the top and flex end will pack the items at the end, we'll not have multiple groups. We only have one group. And if it's packed through the cross axis, you can even use the space around. Well, if we have 250 pixels, and in this case, you will have here half of 250 pixel at each edge. And in this case, we'll have 125 as an example pixels. Same here, 125. 0.5 pixels. And this is how the space are distributed when you are using align content. And if you get how align items center works, it will not have this confusion of how align content works because align content work like justify content because if justify content is distributing the spaces on the main axis, and this is why you are using space only and align content just distribute the spaces on the cross axis. Okay, now if you choose this Evenly, so it will distribute the space. We'll have the same space. So, for example, if we have 200 pixel right here, so we'll have the same here, 200 pixels, 
and 200 pixels and they are distributed on the course axis and not the main one and this is how aligned content works and to have an idea about the difference if i'm using here center and center from aligned content okay let's just comment that out you see that the elements are centered at each group but centers on aligned content it's regrouped everything in only one group and will have only one cross axis instead of multiples like when you are using aligned items okay let's just now use stretch stretch will just take it will take each flex items and stretch its height at the cross axis 